In this video, we're going to be looking at a, another music AI generation tool called Mubit.com. Hey everyone, this is Barry from Music Tech Info. Hope you are doing well. I'm a tiny bit under the weather, so apologies if I sound a little bit croaky. So today we're looking at Mubit.com and this has been recommended to me by quite a few people and a few people have asked for it, so I thought I'd cover it today. Now I've never used it before, so this is gonna be quite interesting, okay? So you go onto Mubit.com and you register. And there's a free model, a pricing model, as well. So let's have a look at the pricing model. So if you want to be an ambassador where you just create content, whether it's just typical for YouTube or NFT art or whatever, then um, you're not allowed to register tracks via the content ID systems or distribute it via streaming services, which is fair enough. And attribution is actually required by putting in a hashtag Mubit and putting in only for personal projects and NFTs, you can generate up to 25 tracks a month and it's only MP3 format only. If you pay the extra of $14 a month, for, I think, is that, is that the annual? No, yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, so $14 a month will actually still not allow you to distribute it, but this time you can use it in promoted posts. You can generate up to 500 tracks monthly and it can be losslessquality.wav. If you wanna go for the pro model, you can do, where you can um, generate up to, actually, what is the benefit of that one? You can monetize those posts and ads if you are a pro member. If you want business, it's $200 a month, which I'm not gonna go into now. However, there is also a single track purchase option, which is $19 a track. Use it in social media content, lostquality.wav no attribution needed, NFT art soundtrack. But if you wanna do more than that, then there's $100 with online ads, all media, etc. So there's various options to look into, okay? But let's see now what this can actually do. So I'm going back to the main menu and I'm gonna click on generate a track. So you can generate a track, a loop, a mix, or a jingle, which is quite interesting. You can set the duration of the track. So I'm gonna say, I don't know, 120, not in seconds, sorry, it's in minutes. Two minutes, perhaps. Is that gonna be right? Let me have another look. Yeah, that's better. Two minutes, 20 seconds. Now you can either type in the prompt or you choose the genre. So let's have a look at the genres. There's a lot here to choose from, as you can see. I'm gonna obviously choose synth pop and see what pops up. It's defaulted pop in there as well. Two minutes, 20 seconds. You can also choose moods and activities. So I'm gonna click on generate a track now. And it started the entry down the bottom. I'm not gonna play the whole track just to let you know. So we'll just wait for that to do. So this is without having a defined text prompt. Just typically choosing a genre that you like and then literally having it do that for you. Now it says at the top that join the affiliate program. I'm not gonna do that in this instance. Um, you more than possible to register yourselves. But if you do wanna affiliate anybody, you'll receive 30% back to you. So it's taken a bit of time just to make you aware, but that can be a good thing because that actually means that the quality and the arrangement can be very good. So now you'll see my generated tracks is highlighted. If I actually click on that, you'll see that it's, uh, you're able to see all of the generated tracks that you've done previously. Okay, so there you have it. So that's now done. It's recognized that it's a synth pop pop track, 125 beats per minute in the key of E, two minutes, 20 seconds. You can download it, you can bin it, and you can play it. Oh, quite interesting key changes there. This button here is if you wanna actually create something similar. So all you do is you select the track, loop, mix, or jingle that you want and actually just um, select the duration and then you can regenerate the track. So let's say that I like that, but I just want say a, a 15 second snip or even a 10 second. Then I click on generate and it'll actually start to do that. So longer tracks do obviously take longer to process. So you need to bear that in mind. But if you're doing a very short track, it won't take as long. So you can see that it's 
created a remix version of the track that it previously created. And we'll just let it do its thing again and then we'll have a quick listen. Okay, so that's now done. Same beats per minute, same key. Let's have a quick listen to this. I actually prefer that one, in which case you could then remix that one if you wanted to and actually make a longer track. So that was basically creating a track via genre. Now there are moods as well, so if you wanted a calm track, an extreme track, maybe happy, then you're able to create those quite easily. Activities, maybe you, you want meditation music, you can use the AI to generate those for you. Sci-fi, summer, travel, white noise, rain. So this is very clever in terms of what it can actually do. But let's say we actually wanna change the prompt now. So instead of going genre specific, we wanna actually create something via a text AI prompt to then generate the music. So I'm gonna start straight away with the um, 10 second clip. And then we're gonna type in R and B rap, rap, help if I could spell music on a Sunday. Let's keep it very oddly generic. Now I'm going to click on generate track. R&B rap music on a Sunday via text to music. 10 second clip. So we'll see what's produced with that. So that's already finished. 140 beats per minute. Quite fast to this one in the key of D. Oh, very good. Very impressed with that one. Let's try ambient music on a Sunday. <laughs> Let's try that one now. By the way, a sub to the channel would be really appreciated. It doesn't cost anything. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. Any comments, I always welcome. Love comments. So this one's change color. Not, not sure why that one, this one is in the key of A, a lot slower at 60 beats per minute. Now that sounds very similar to Ava. Perhaps they're using a similar kind of algorithm, particularly the ambient music part is the first time I've detected that. Certainly sounds quite similar to the one that I've featured before on the channel. And I feature lots of AI um, generated tools for musicians on this channel as well as NFT platforms so if you're interested yeah please check out my other videos so I'm really happy with the results that we've actually had now you've got my generated tracks down the bottom my downloads you can go premium but you can also utilize royalty free music for modern creators and apps so let's say I want to feel good tune I'm going to click on that and the staff have actually picked these ones out so let's just click on rain dance So if you're just interested in utilizing music and that maybe downloading it for royalty free, you can do that as well. If you wanna be more creative, you can use the text prompts and the moods. You can actually explore instruments. So let's click on piano here. And then again, this is royalty free music that you can utilize if you want to. Great. There's also playlists on here, themes, so maybe you want to do an advert, you can click on advertising and have a look at that one. Artist beta, haven't looked at yet. So this is exploring the artists that have created AI and what they've actually created. So let's click on this person here and actually click. So if you wanted to create a music uh, for artists, you can create your own profile, which I'll go to in a second. You can do that. And then you'll be featured on this uh, website as well. Hip Hop Electronica. Very good. So if I click on for artists now, what you're welcomed with is this form to actually fill out and it will show you how the artist page will look, how to make your first sample pack for Muba if you're interested in creating sample packs. You literally just fill out your email address, how did you find out about them and if you want a copy of the email and then submit. So they'll then invite you to the beta version of, of that, which is really cool. Now, something that else is in beta at the moment is search by reference. And what this allows you to do is to actually place a YouTube video and it'll try and search tracks similar to that video. We will give that a very quick go now, just see if I can produce anything. I don't know. Um, 
Adele, hello. Let me just copy this link here. Not sure if this is gonna work or not, but we'll give it a shot. Place the link in there. Search tracks. So it's downloading now. Oh, it says failed. Okay, so maybe that's something that they're currently working on at the moment, or maybe it needs to be a very tiny clip. But again, this is a great thing about these tools is that they do change quite quickly. You know, AI is just rocketing at the moment, and I'm finding new functionality on the platforms all the time. So there you go. Just a quick part about About Us. This is a team here, and they're on a global mission to empower creators with a unique collaborative platform that pairs musicians with AI. They're redefining the way that music is actually created, experienced and licensed. So I'll leave that for you to check out if you want to have a look. There's also blogs that they feature. Um, launches text to music functionality. This was back in December, back end, back end of 2022. Lots of more information about that if you're interested in, in learning more. They do Muba API for developers as well and for creators. They've been featured in some of these um, things here. And they're in Delaware in the US. So I hope you like this video and I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.